Hi, welcome back to Gear Daddy. I'm your host, Daddy Troy. Today we're talking about GeoBoards. It's a device you'll find in classrooms, kindergarten through fifth grade. It's a mathematical manipulative, meaning you teach abstract mathematical concepts by a kid actually playing with the device. Today we're gonna teach you to make a gigantic math GeoBoard. I got this idea from a blog called Filth Wizardry. It's a great creative blog for parents of preschoolers. In order to make one of these, you need a common pegboard that you can find at a hardware store. The problem is they usually come in four foot by eight foot sheets. So you'll need to ask someone to cut it into fourths for you. They call that ripping one of them. Now, since this is an eight by eight grid, eight times eight is 64, you're gonna need 64 nuts and bolts to finish it out. Rather than buying those loosely, you'll buy a whole box of them. This is a box of 100. What I really love about this project, it's so easy to put together, even a first grader could do it. You simply put in a bolt from the back, then allow the kid to put on the nut. He or she spins it down, and what's really great is all you need are two tools in order to make this happen. One for the back and one for the front to gently tighten it down. And you can have multiple kids help you out with that. Now since I built two of these, that's 64 plus 64, 128 we had to put in, both my wrists and the kids' wrists were getting tired. So what I ended up doing was I ended up buying this attachment for a cordless drill, which allowed me to finish it out quickly once the kids were starting to get tired. And the last thing you'll need is a rubber band ball with a bunch of different colored rubber bands. Once you finish the geoboard, your kids are gonna to wanna to play with it right away. Be prepared to have some mathematically based questions for them. The geoboard's a great way to teach units of measure. You can show a kid what is one unit versus two units versus three units. With younger kids, you can talk about the difference between squares versus rectangles. You can talk about area of rectangles, area of triangles. How about this, the area of an irregular polygon? You can teach about right triangles, and here's some really fun games you could play. So for instance, what's the smallest right triangle you can make on the board? And what's the largest right triangle you can make on the board? Having a whole arsenal of these questions allows you to spend hours with your kid reinforcing basic mathematical topics they're learning at school. And finally, it's a great way to do some basic art. What colors are you using? Uh, purple and yellow and Green and red. Today's episode was sponsored by Baby Bjorn. Hey, thanks Baby Bjorn for allowing us to do great things with our kids and then come and tell our audience about them every week. Now we got some great forums and great discussions going over at dadlabs.com. We'll see you there. Yeah.